Now we're at Atlantic Sea Grill with the executive chef, Brooks Nettleship. And Brooks, what are you going to make today? Uh, we're going to make a tartar sauce and a herb butter. Okay. What herbs go in the tartar sauce? Okay, tartar sauce, I usually like to use a fresh dill. Okay. It's uh, excellent uh, compared to dried dill. A lot more flavor. Flavors instance. Dried dill takes a while to soak in and you can use the sauce right away. Great. So how do we get started? Okay. I have my fresh dill already picked. I have my onions chopped and my kosher dill pickles already chopped. We have a half cup of each. I'm going to place them in the food processor. Is there a difference in the type of pickles that you use? Um, yeah, so you can use sweet pickles depending on your flavor. I like the uh, crunchy kosher uh -huh. just because I like kosher dill pickles. So if you like a sweeter pickle, you can use a sweeter pickle. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to chop these. Uh, you can chop these uh, depending on how chunky you like your tartar sauce. I like mine reasonably chunky, okay. so I'm not going to chop it a bunch. Okay, next I'm going to add the mayonnaise. Got two cups of that. Two cups of mayonnaise. Okay. okay. About how much dill did you put in there? Half a cup. Okay. Half and a just cup chop of that up fine and. Well, I didn't really. Ch uh, the food processor will chop. I just plucked it so it didn't have any too much stem. Okay. Just the, uh, just, just the leaves. leaves. Okay, I'm going to mix that briefly. Okay, and then I'm going to add quarter cup of the juice from the uh, pickles. Oh, that'll give it some good flavor. That'll kind of, yeah, depending on how runny you want it or how thick, you add more or less. Uh -huh. And then one teaspoon of lemon juice. I use fresh. Fresh squeezed lemon yeah. juice? Yeah, gives it this better taste. If you don't have any fresh squeezed, uh -huh. that's fine. Yeah. yeah. And this is a little runny, so depending on how you like your tartar sauce, you can add more or less juice. Okay. 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 Now, how long will that keep since it's made up fresh? Um, well, I use a uh, commercial mayonnaise, so it'll last pretty much, you know, a couple of weeks, just like regular mayonnaise. But if you made homemade mayonnaise, not quite as long. I see. So that was real quick there. That is easy. And what kind of fish will that uh, be put on? That's a petrolli sole right there, just deep fried. It's excellent on fried food or any food. Fried food's probably the best, I would say. Hey, it looks delicious. Okay, what are we making next? We're going to make herb butter next. All right, let's do that. When I start my herb butter, I like to use a quarter cup of garlic, fresh garlic. Chop that. Then add like two cups of butter or one pound. Same thing. I usually like to let the butter thaw out for half a day or so so it's reasonably soft. It's a little easier to work with. You have to let it uh Beat for you know a couple seconds to get it soft, so you can add the rest of your herbs. Okay. The trick of this is you don't want to whip air into it. You just want to kind of melt it, not so it's soft. Okay, I'm gonna add half a cup of parsley. This is already chopped. Half a cup of chopped chives. Oh, they smell great. I can see the <laughs> benefits of using them fresh like that. Yeah, fresh is excellent. And half a cup of fresh basil. Basil's my favorite. Okay. Process those. Okay, this makes quite a lot. You only need maybe one tablespoon for an eight ounce cut of fish or so. So this, this will make quite a lot here. Could this be uh, refrozen? Yes, it. Uh, you, I usually like to wrap it in kind of a log shape, and then you can cut it 
into little uh, into sections. Oh, like this. Okay. So you can, depending on how much you want, you can cut it off, and then wrap it in cellophane and, and foil, and you can freeze it. Okay, now I'm gonna add salt and pepper, a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of white pepper, and I have a quarter cup of fr fresh squeezed lemon juice. Okay. Um, you can also add white wine or say a little brandy or something. For your liquid? For your liquid if you like, depending on what you're what you like. Just I like lemon juice is really good with fish. So okay. We mix this well so it's all evenly distributed. I see how a food processor would really come in handy yeah. get tired whipping that by if, hand. Yeah, it would really you can do it. I, if you want to do it by hand, I'll just let the butter get softer. Okay. Um, if you don't have a food processor, a mix would work it's just as well. But a food processor does save. Okay, um, after it's mixed, you, uh, you just scoop it out and then uh, put on cellophane and just make a log shape. You just form it with your hand and then just roll it and wrap it in foil. Mm -hmm. And then you can mark it what it is, freeze it, it'll last six months. Okay. It's butter, it's not going to go take bad. It out as you need the it. butter kind of seals in the fresh of the herb so it'll last forever. And then just pull it out, let it thaw out for a couple hours, slice it, and just place it on your, uh, your uh, that's a swordfish right there. Now and can uh, that be used on things other than fish steaks? Um, depending on what herbs you could use, you could use it on a steak, uh, tenderloin, you could use it on fruit, anything. It's better to use something that's hot and then just place it on right afterwards because then it will melt and oh, you have yeah. the fresh herbs right there. And so their flavor is released right then when yeah, it starts to melt. Yeah, it's an instant flavor. It's not dried herb would take a while to dissolve and everything. Well, we can see here that to make an herb butter or a tartar sauce, fresh herbs really do provide a better flavor. Thank you, Brooks, for showing us this here at Atlantic Sea Grill, and I think I'm going to try some of this. Thank you.